and welcome back to Harriet's Custom Computer Art Plus. Now I'm going to show you how to create the graduation fan using Cricut. You would have to upload all of your images. I've already uploaded some of them, but I saved one so that I could show you how to upload in case you didn't know. So you're going to click on Upload, Upload Image, Browse. You're going to choose wherever you saved the image. I saved it on the desktop. There's my graduate, and now I'm going to bring him in. I'm going to choose complex so that I don't change any of the colors in his image. Hit apply and continue because I saved it as a PNG, so it already has the background cut out. I'm going to click on the one I want to keep. It already has the name there, and I'm going to choose upload. Now I need to upload the pattern for the background of the fan. So I'm going to go to Upload Pattern. I'm going to choose Browse. Once again, I'm going to look for where I saved the pattern and I, I made this gradient in Microsoft Picture It to use here. Now you're just going to choose Upload the, the Pattern and it will be saved in all of the settings with the pattern. I already have it in there once so I'm not going to save it again but you would click upload and then it would save it in your pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. Now I need to bring in my images. So I'm going to choose upload and I'm going to need my graduate and also the shape of the fan that I want to make, which is the cap. And I'm going to add that to the canvas. And I'm going to zoom out so that I can shrink these down. So now we have our graduate and the cap, but before I get started with the cap, uh, with the design, I want to trim off this tassel a little bit so that it my uh, fan can be as large as possible with the 9.25 by 6.75 uh, measurement. So I'm just going to go to shapes, make a square, I'm going to unlock the square, re resize it just so I can get it right down here because I'm underneath the cap and then I'm just going to uh, slide across those and hit slice get rid of all the pieces I don't want and now I'm going to resize this with 9.25 and see if it will be within the print and cut parameters and it is the uh, the, the height will be 5.7 and I can unlock this and go ahead and make this 6.25 to try to get it to the largest that I can make it. And that, as you can see, it doesn't make it uh, look too awkward. It still works. So I'm going to lock that back up. And now I'm going to work on my graduate. So let me zoom in some and recenter my page. So I'm going to shrink my graduate down some. And first I want to bring in the pattern that I want on my graduation cap. So I'm going to click here to change this to a print and cut, a standard print and cut. Then I'm going to change it to Then I'm going to change the pattern by clicking on on the colored square here. I'm going to choose pattern by clicking on this arrow right next to color it gives you patterns and then the pattern that I uploaded which is this gradient should be in there so I'm going to choose the gradient it fills my cap and now I need to put my graduate on there so let me bring him to the front by clicking on arrange send to front and I can zoom in a little more and now I'm going to see where I want to position my graduate. Now I would like a pretty large amount of my graduate in this image. So I can cut off a little bit of his tassel and, and cap to fit him in there. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and slide across and hit slice. And then I'm going to keep the parts I want and get rid of what I don't want. 
and that looks okay. So I'm going to move him over because I don't want this extra piece on the tassel. So I'm going to take another shape, just, just a square or any shape, and just put it over that area. Enlarge this a little bit so that I'm getting the whole piece. And slide across him and hit slice. And now I just have my graduate. I can delete all of the rest of this. So let me put him back in place because remember this is going to be a print and cut. So I want to line him back up where he was. And I think that's about right. Looks like he needs to go up just a little bit. Okay, right there. And now we're ready to add some text. So I'm going to go here to text. I'm going to click on this arrow because right now it's in design space text, but I want to use the text that's on my computer. So I'm going to click here and go to system. So I'm going to, uh, I can either scroll through to find what I'm looking for, but since I already know what fonts I want to use, I'm just going to go ahead and type in Bernard because I want a kind of thick font. So I'll click that, then I'll type the name here. And I want to change it from a print and cut to a standard, I'm sorry, I want to change it from a basic cut to a standard print and cut, then I'm going to change the color to white. Resize it. I think I want the, the Michelson on the second row. So you have to double click and then I'm just going to take the Michelson. I'm going to backspace it and then hit enter to bring it down to the second row. And then here on alignment, I'm going to choose center. And I can shrink that down some more. I can unlock it and shorten it or lengthen it if, if I want, but I think that'll work fine. Next, I want to put the class of 2020, 2022. So I'm going to do another uh, box for that. I'm going to, or I could right click, copy this, or just hit duplicate. So I think I'll just hit duplicate three more times so that I can use it for all the fonts. Because I'm I want to put you did it over here and I want to put the class of 2022 here and then down at the bottom the name of the school. So I'm just going to duplicate these and then to change them, all I do is double click, come here, and I want to change this to System Brush Script. So I just type in Brush, it brings me to the script. And I'm going to type in Class Enter of Enter 2020. Once again, I want this aligned and looks like it's kept the alignment from the original. And so I want to also change this to a basic uh, or a standard print and cut and change it to white also. Next, I want to make the school name. And as you can see, I want to leave it in the Bernard font. So I'm just going to double click on it and change it to, I had it as Harriet University, so I'll just stick with that. Enter and University underneath. And once again, I'm going to change that to a standard print and cut and white. And then resize it and put it in place as well. Then on this side, double click. This is going to stay as Bernard. I'm going to go ahead and type you did it.
with an exclamation mark. And then also I'm going to change this to a standard print and cut. And this time I'm going to change it to gold and move it over to the corner. Now I'm going to just drag across the whole thing, hit flatten, and now you're ready to make it. So you just click make it. You get to see the size it would print on your page. You choose continue and send to printer. This is um, just a little glitch in Cricut Design Space, but you would choose uh, whichever printer you want to send it to. I'd send it to probably my 4700 Eco Tank, and then you hit print, and you're ready to cut it out. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button. And hit the bell if you'd like to be notified the minute I have a new tutorials. Also, please share the video with your family, your friends, anyone who'd like to learn to make party supplies. I will see you next time.